Hey there everyone, this video is going to be very unusual guys where we will be comparing two OS. The first one is Chrome OS Flex and another one is Linux Mint XFC edition which is also very light. And the reason why I am coming up with this kind of setup or this kind of screen um, probably is I wanted to test in this very old laptop which particular version of OS will run smoother. As you can see here, the hardware is very old guys. It comes with AMD E1 6010 APU that was built on 28 nanometer process node. And in terms of power wattage, it is I guess 10 watt APU with no boost and comes with only two core. So it is that bare bone guys. And then it comes with four gigabyte of RAM. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you both these OS one by one and then we will see how fast one OS respond. You may take your decision that what OS would be best for this kind of hardware. And the reason why again I am making video in this mode so that I can show you I am not installing it in any VMware. I am installing it in real machine. Okay. So let me exit first of all because I already have installed Chrome OS flex to it and let's see how it perform. Okay, so Chrome OS flex is booting on this bare bone CPU and I'm going to keep this part specifically uncut so that you can also see the real bootload time. Okay, so I'm going to enter my password here and we are good to go. The mouse looks good. And please bear in mind that this is Chrome OS Flex, which means that you will not be running any Android app if you are getting confused. You only can install apps from Chrome Web Store that exist here uh, when you go and click on these three dots. And uh, when you click on extension and here we have got Chrome Web Store. I would say this particular OS is primarily focused on online tasks and, you know, living in a cloud. Now here you go, here you can see the kind of app, the Chrome Web Store, which I would say looks okay, considering Chrome being just a browser. Now, one more thing I realized that the internet browsing experience, despite this hardware is so old, is quite fast. I mean, I really can open any site without the pages lagging too much, which I really like it. So if you want a device that can be used as a browsing internet, then probably Chrome OS Flex is no brainer. However, when we want to run apps, I think there this Chrome OS Flex sucks. And to see if I really can run the desktop grade apps to this particular hardware, I already have created this bootable drive. So what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to boot into my USB and then and we're going to install the Linux Mint XFC to this. Okay, so I just plug it out and then turn it on. And this time I'm going to use a boot menu. And from here, instead of Chrome OS Flex, I'm going to choose EFI USB device. And there we go. Now I can start it like this, but I think I want to really install it. So what I'm going to do here is now let me choose the first option. Okay. So here you can see I am now booting this from Linux Mint and I'm hoping that this system now will be functional again. And I only can see so far is my cursor. And it says live user session. So let me click here on login. And another potential bottleneck why this is right now running slow is this USB 2.0 slots and the drives. So that also kind of, uh, you know, making it slow, but it's okay. Now let me go here, click on this. Let's see how it come. Okay, finally it came. And I am also hoping that once I install it, this particular drive as well as port is also kind of creating bottleneck to it. So uh, let me install it. Okay. Then probably I can, you know, do fair justice and comparison. Now in this whole process, my trackpad also stopped working. So that's even pathetic. 
and I then connect it to my mouse. Okay, so I'm just thinking of let's install it. So here I have just made a double click. Hope this will come up with something such that we can install this system permanently to our hard drive. And this is now taking some time. And you really need to patiently wait for this process to get completed because it took like around five minutes for me for this screen to come. So it is that long guys. Now from here you can choose your language. I'm going to click on English and then I'm going to hit here continue. Okay, keyboard layout again. I'm going to keep it as it is. Okay, so this particular step took surprisingly took less time. Now it is asking us to format everything. I'm going to say, yeah, it is everything and install Linux Mint. And before actually doing this, please make sure that you already have taken backup of all your data. Then only you should hit continue. Since I don't have any data here, so I, without being worried about anything, I can click on continue. Now let's again wait for a while. Okay, now here comes the time zone selection part and seems like it automatically have detected the correct time zone for me since I am connected to internet. Now let's click here continue and now I need to fill up all these credentials. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so I have entered the required detail. Now let me click on continue. And there we go. Finally, here we can see the process of installation finally has begun. And here it is copying file as you can see on below the progress bar. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to wait for a while because this particular step I'm sure that going to take good amount of time. Okay, so some of packages here you can see are being downloaded from internet and it is about to get installed or maybe I can skip for the time being it's up to us but i'm just thinking of let's complete this and finally here we go we have successfully installed it now let me quickly do a quick restart so that i can compare the performance of this with chrome os flex now i'm gonna also turn remove my pen drive and of course in terms of booting time this one is taking more compared to chrome os flex but that's okay if it is only taking more time in booting because that I can bear considering Chrome OS Flex is more of complete cloud. Finally, I can see my cursor and here now I need to enter my password. Now cursor looks good. The system also completely booted up. Now seems like there is this welcome guide. First steps. Let's launch the desktop color okay so it kind of give you a preview also so this way you can further customize it but i think i am okay with this kind of customization now uh here we can also see uh driver manager that i would say is really very important it says i'm offline which shouldn't be the case so let me connect to my internet Okay, so we are now back connected to internet and let's again uh, look for the drivers. So finally here this Linux is running and when I did browser test here, the browser seems definitely slower than Google OS Flex. And when I tried to run YouTube here, it is not able to play a video as I was expecting. Then uh, the next thing what I did is I tried to download a browser that is one of the lightest browser available and just to show you you know how the videos are being played. Okay so this is a video from apple.com and then here you can see how this video work. It is kind of working and sometimes struggling I would say here you can see the die punch motion was not smooth and then um, again we can see certain drops in frame and so here we can clearly see that even youtube videos are not playing as they need to be played however when we talk about apps like uh, office excel i think there it did not struggled a lot but eventually i think when i'm gonna work with the larger file then for sure it's going to be pretty slow. So I also need to think of long-term perspective. I think in long-term perspective, 
the Chrome OS Flex going to win over this Linux Mint XFC, no doubt. Because you're gonna get everything powered by cloud, your processor need to just pump up one app which is Google Chrome. And of course there are very less offline app that is kind of helpful as the entire CPU need to push Google Chrome unlike managing 10 different things. The next app that I was thinking of using Paint app but again there I think the Chrome OS Flex will win because there are so many online apps that really excel for example Canvas. So you can run Canvas online and can avoid that kind of situation. So in the end I would say if you ask me only from performance point of view the Google Chrome OS Flex win. However, if you live in a place where there is a lack of internet connection, you want everything to be available online and you have slightly more powerful hardware and you want to do full desktop like thing, for example, installing software, writing code and many other things, then in that case, this Linux Mint make more sense. However, in my particular case, I only want to use this system for web browsing and so that the kids in my home, they can use it and can learn something. And then of course, there are alternative to Office, which is Google own workspace. So there is definitely alternative for almost all application available. The only thing won't be available, I guess, is the development kit or you won't be getting full desktop like features. With that, I'm going to ask you guys which version you like most and would like to go with. Do let us in comment down below. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to Technoholic Plus as we keep on bringing these kind of content in this channel. And I will see you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.